Dude, part of the community. When did you buy this this top? I bought it like in February. It's pretty cool he's wearing it right now. Yeah. 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 Good morning guys. Welcome to the vlog. Own it with McVU. I'm McVU. I am a co-founder of Scoop and my, I'm in, in an internal meeting with my team. We did it! We did it! We did it! Yay! Our quota for this month is 2.5 million and that was a whole topic of this meeting. I have no doubt in my mind that we'll reach that quota. Try your luck. Pinoy's kasi they like reviews. They like people who are happy who bought. This has 208,000 views already. We already positioned ourselves na, what the fuck is Scoop, man? But ang daming, but ang daming bumili. Once we show them the ad, they're already convinced that we are credible. Top 10 slow movie events dito. Napapansin namin si Petrish Lili. Okay. RJ, are you there? Because it's all black. Once you go black, you never go back. And then we're done with the internal meeting, and then we're headed to Estancia. Good luck to us. I believe we're halfway there. The goal for now is not to earn in The goal for now is to be in Yun lang muna. One small step for mankind. Now, just let's take it month by month. This month is 2.5M. We got this. Cool. Have a great day, guys. See you. Own it with Nick for you. <laughs> we actually just finished our meeting. Internal meeting. Actually, an internal meeting, what's the purpose of that? The purpose of that is to get everyone in line with the goal of for this month. Which, what I said is 2.5 million. When you're handling a startup and then people are working from home, you need to get everyone's mind in that goal as well. So basically, I need to align with each department and say, okay, marketing, this is what's up. Merchandising, this is what's up. Warehouse team, this is what's up. And then execute from there. And that's the main purpose of the internal meeting, which we just got done. And now I want to take you guys to our flagship store. Yo, we are now in Estancia and we're here to do a flagship store tour, but I'm not sure if this door is open. It, it's not open, <laughs> so we have to move. We have to move, dude. We're almost near. Yo, I on purposely chose the ground floor. Of course, visibility and premium, premiumness is part of our brand. And I wanted to be beside Own Days, a Japanese brand. All right, come here. This is Scoop's flagship store. First one. I'm in the game, I was on the bench. First I was renting, now I'm collecting rent. First it was the Beamer, now. Can you imagine that we just conceptualized a store and it started from an idea and now it's literal, it's physical, it's something tangible. You can hold it. This is our first flagship store, but then I'll show you guys all the improvements that we're gonna make towards the second one. And please do follow at Scoop Communities or subscribe to our newsletter so that you can follow and know when the second store is opening. So the first thing that you have to keep in mind when you want to create your own concept store is you have to have a brief of what you want. What's the purpose? What's the goal of the store? The purpose of this store was not to sell. It was just to showcase what Scoop was about. And the goal of the store to literally show the product and at the same time, create content with the store. I, I, I have to admit, Estancia is not the best mall when it comes to foot traffic. I mean, like, look, um, <laughs> right? Like, the, the, it's, not, it's not the best. It's not like a, a mall where there's a lot of people in it. We designed this store specifically for that. Dude, I went here for like one month straight looking at the foot traffic and making sure that if our flagship store should be placed here. But first, let us go through the store one by one. All right, so this is actually part of our basics volume three collection. We're constantly improving and as you can see our signature neck rib. So we call it basics with the letter K. That's branding for you. <laughs> this is part of our retail therapy collection. Retail therapy is something very dear to me because it's, it talks about mental health and talks about my anxiety disorder. I want to talk to you guys about our Happy Accidents collection. It's our first time designing a reversible tote bag. I'm so proud of it. 
This is our collaboration with New Era. New Era and Scoop had a collaboration way back when it was 2020. We only had four SKUs of this collection. An SKU is just a term for like a silhouette or a design. I don't know exactly the acronym. Oh, it's called Stock Keeping Unit, sabi ni ah. Carmi. <laughs> we have a lot more hidden gems in this store. So if you want something, please go to Estancia Mall, ground floor. We're open here forever. <laughs> I want to let you in on a secret. We do put out new items that we don't announce in our Estancia flagship store. So if you want something new from Scoop, visit Estancia Mall ground floor. Remember when I told you that the store wasn't open during the grand opening? This counter table was actually not this nice. And the, the lighting below, it did not have any lighting below. And then the floor wasn't like this at all. Actually, this part should have a glass that would get to see what's inside when we do our photo shoot. Like you can even see the seam lines here. That is not yet done, right? This one is something that needs to be improved in our second store. This is actually a waste. Imagine always having to print that you have buy one, get one or new arrivals. Anything that you want to announce for people to actually go inside your store. This is very inefficient and we didn't think about it. That's a mistake. We learned from it. So watch out for the second store. So come here. The plan here was for small items for our bucket hats. We wanted it to be placed here. This is a co collaboration actually from Be Kind to All Kinds. Um, shout out to Potion Project and Karen Toyoshima for actually actualizing this collection. So these are our bucket hats. We're known for our bucket hats. It's two in one actually, it's reversible. If you can see here, you can reverse it. And then there, it's magic. <laughs> Another learning lesson about this store is the fitting room. The fitting room is always cramped. People have to always constantly fall in line because we just have one fitting room. We prioritize the studio over the fitting room. I would recommend to at least have two fitting rooms for any type of concept store where you want to sell. Actually, this part has to have a mirror. Like mirrors are very important in stores so that siempre, people want to see their, the clothes on them, right? And some people don't even want to go to the dressing room and just see it outside. Here is a, our dressing room. You know what's lacking here? It's a backlight. We wanted the mirror to have a backlight and the lighting is just so dim. A fitting room's purpose has to make you look better. I mean, dude, I have to be honest, this is fun, a funny comment from a customer. Sab, sabi ng customer, Hey, Carmi, nakakatakot naman yung fitting room nyo, boss. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a true story, man. We actually use a POS. It's called Store Hub. What's a POS? A POS is a point of sale. I didn't know any of that shit before, to be honest, and I had to choose, right? So yeah, here okay, is where you can meet Carmi. Carmi is our store personnel, and she will be the one handling a secret store in the north, and she's gonna be the store manager there. She's actually in training right now and manning the cashier. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time, one thing very valuable, guys, before you start your concept store, dude, keep in mind, a lot of people have credit cards now. It's not just like cash, unlike before. Now, people want to pay via Gcash, via BDO Terminal, via Paymaya. And so, here are the elements of a cashier. We have the store hub here. It's an app inside an iPad. We have a thermal printer, the BDO Terminal, a laptop for sure, which is needed for the ports a Paymaya terminal. And at the same time, very important guys, I want to show you guys the filing system that we do. When you run your store, here are the things that you need in file. It's needed because it's needed for the mall admin and it's needed for internal purposes to make sure that no one's stealing from you. All right, so firstly, you need your X reading. Parmi, what's an X reading? Ito po yung mga reports natin, uh, sales for today po. Yeah. Kinocompile natin to kasi kailangan i-add. There you go. That's what an X reading is about. Of course, we have the deposit slips here. I can show you guys that. We have the delivery receipts. The delivery receipts should be here signed by whoever received it and the delivery receipt should be in line with what's in store hub or else if it's not in line then that means there's theft or something's missing swipe or no swiping and something happened 
that's paranormal. <laughs> to go back, we have petty cash receipts. We have our barcodes. Very important, the barcode, barcode management. Memos and notices we have from the mall admin. Hopefully, there's nothing bad here <laughs> because we do comply with BIR and, and all of the business of passing like the, the, the local government unit of Estancia. These are the files that we have and hopefully it was really helpful for me to go through it. I would like to take you to the unfinished storage room. <laughs> Come on, we're not yet done with the store. Again, it has to have racks as high as the, the height, a custom rack built from scratch. We have the boxes here. Carmi, maybe you can take over. Yeah. Uh, dito po nilalagay yung mga stocks natin, like bucket hats, uh, yung mga uh, paper bags natin, mga ops na sinusuot ni customer para ibalik sa kabilang storage room. Then, ito yung mga old collections, nandito rin sila. Then, we have the mop here, just to clean the store. And, yun lang. Uh, from the storage room, now we go to the secret area, which is our photo shoot studio area. So as you can see, we have what's called a cyclorama. I don't know what the what a cyclorama is, dude. Go, like, can you explain? Uh, so, what yeah, yeah, see, yeah, yeah. So it's actually something videographers and photographers use. Imagine a studio backdrop, but like an endless. Oh. Endless view. Like if you look at Mick right now, it look he looks like he's an endless void. Whoa. Because there's no corners. There's actually a corner over there, Mick. Where, uh, what it, corner? <laughs> it, it's like curved. Yeah. So it looks like it's endless. Even on the floor, it's curved. It looks like it doesn't end. Yeah. So I don't see an end, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we shoot. This is where RJ Wolfgang at RJ Wolfgang. <laughs> Our photographer again we go back to our purpose and goal of the store the purpose and part of the goal of this store is not just for selling it's for content creation as well we're done with the photo shoot studio in the cyclorama thank you for explaining Gonyo by the way what the cyclorama is and now we move on to the powder room the purpose and function of it is for models to of course freshen up and dress up so that the shoot is faster right but the thing is like I said, the store is not yet 100% perfect. So if you can see our storage room, it's still a stock room, man. <laughs> Come here, like even check out the ceiling. It's not yet done. It looks like a fucking saw room, bro. But um, we'll do better. I promise you we'll do better. That pretty much sums up the store um, tour. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys learned something from my mistake, our mistakes, and I look forward to seeing you guys in Uptown BGC, our second store. It won't have any more mistakes. Or maybe it will, but we'll <laughs> still learn from it, right? Yeah. If you want to learn about the behind the scenes of what exactly happened during our grand opening, our Fire Scoop Festival, click this link up here to learn more about what happened. Dude, part of the community. When did you buy this, this stuff? I bought it like in February. It's pretty cool he's wearing it right now. You're right, you're right. So yeah guys, part of the community, dude. Did you see the studio at the back? I'll, I'll show you. This was supposed to be like a, a glass where people can see the inside. And this is like a cyclorama. Oh yeah, thanks for showing me around too, because this is something that I usually never get to see myself. Oh. And I got two shirts for free because it was a promo. In McKinley as well. Oh. Damn, I should have been there. I should have gone there. Dude, you got a deal. <laughs> wow, dude. Yeah. That's so fucking great, man. So there's a full scoop outfit. Yeah. Can you imagine that guy, that just random guy who just passed by? He was a fan of scoop. And then he bumped into me and then he had the courage even to talk to me and then share me his experiences about scoop brand. It's really fulfilling a lot because the effect that a brand has on a person, it's not just the clothes. He's part of the community and you're part of the community too. That pretty much wraps up our flagship store. And I appreciate you guys for watching. Please watch more of my videos and own it with McVU.